everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is July 19, 2017, and I am on Tim Foster's YouTube channel where he caught the setting sun proving my theory of the lens array that hides them. And I'll explain this later in the video how this works. It's very simple, actually. But let's just get right into it and see if I can. In this shot here, we can see at 546 local time p.m., we can see the early signs of the lens array and the light of the artificial sun refracting off the lens array. And then as we progress in time, let's see, find it. We could see in this photograph, we could see the lens array lighting up with the lens the, the lens lighting up, and I believe these to be the shadows of multiple planets. It looks like almost four of them, and we can see this whole thing moving as the sun sets. Look how this thing is obscured as the sun starts to set. And look how irrefutable evidence in this next shot. This is just getting crazier. We can see the lensing action taking effect as it bends the light. The problem with the lens array, these are only so big. In order for them to work effectively, they've got to be bigger than the object they're hiding in the sky. But as they draw closer to the lens, they are getting bigger than the lens. And soon we'll all see them. This is only going to get more and more obvious as it as these multiple planets orbiting around Nemesis draw closer to the sun. None of them are going to actually hit us. Now... In this photograph here, we can clearly see this no longer this planetary object. It is see-through. It is the holographic image being projected by the lens array, which is being illuminated. Here we have the object here and here and here, and apparently maybe even moons of some of these objects. These, we can almost see the orbiting bodies that these are in front of one another. Here we can still see this light here with the lens failing to bend the light around these objects during the sunset. Here is the most craziest thing you ever saw. And what appears to even look in the lens array or craters. But what we're looking at as a projection of the craters as the light is being bent around these objects. Look at the setting of the sun here. It continues to show off the lens array. Again, we'll I will show you the evidence of this lens array on Australian time lapse and how this affects our skies the way we're seeing it. So I'm gonna advance this a few. He's gonna zoom in on it here. Again, this is the artificial sun. Sun simulator in a heliosynchronous orbit. The black dot is looking down the barrel of the sun simulator. It's the only way you're going to see the black dot. Awesome catch. And by the way, if that was something on the camera, then it should either always be on there or always off on the same camera. Don't tell me because someone bought a cheap camera and you can pull the same thing. Who's to say that these cameras were designed to put a black dot on there to try and disprove the fake sun get yourself a real camera and how come the same camera can capture the full sun some get the black dot some don't on the same camera either it's always going to be a black dot or it's not and the reason why you're seeing it is because you got to be looking down the barrel of it and apparently not very visible from my area near california People are catching this. Again, we're seeing this huge out of focus image being cast. And I want you to take notice of this because we're going to see this in some of the other videos that I have in the screen captures. Look at this thing set here. We can see what appears to be craters. But again, we're looking at the projection of craters. This is not the actual object pulled hugely out of focus. It's not as close as you see, just like your rear view mirror. The objects in the mirror is not as are closer than they appear. Okay, so this is, we have still don't know quite how close these are. Look at this lens array. This is insane. I believe this is the out of focus planet and casting all their shadows. This just gives incredible evidence. Look at that. Look at these 
shadowy objects. One, two, three. Sam Hoffman would somewhat agree with me, but he just can't believe in the artificial sun. That's too bad. But again, you need to be looking for, <laughs> look at all these planets being hidden by this giant lens. How it's there, it's there. It's the same way satellites are in space. It's not that hard to have a geosynchronous orbit and having, I've already had plenty of videos about the lens array. So let's get into the other videos. Um, I'd like to touch on this topic here. Absolutely no notion for this one. Look at this video. What do you think caused that? This is the moon. <laughs> I know what this is. What you've got is an artificial light source and you've got planets underneath casting the shadow of the planet all the way in out in space. So, yeah. Go check out channel. I'll leave a link to that description. Again, we have. Um, now let me explain how this whole thing works. And let me show you some more vid pictures here. Of this distortion light that can be seen with the naked eye. This would cause these strange. Uh, rainbow above the cloud, very bizarre patterns, but this again is the effects of the lens array, convergence of the lenses, hiding their various objects. And here we have the two lens arrays. We could see planetary features through the lens and check out what we're gonna see next as we see a sunset passing through a pair of these sets of lenses. Yeah. Does that look normal? No. What we're looking at is a <laughs> the real sun and the fake sun. It, it look at this casted image of this sun setting with the sun simulator. The direction of the sun simulator would be like up in this direction. It hasn't set yet. The 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 barrel of the gun basically points perpendicular to the earth, and because this is a sunset, this is more exposed. So the the lens follow the cursor here would you'd have to be up in the air looking down at this sun to catch of having a hope to see that that black dot and here we're seeing the lens array in front of the setting sun diffusing the light and have we seen that one before in hawaii and various other parts of the world and this was taken off the steve olson channel by the way here we can see the sun in the simulator Notice it's more yellow. That's the real sun. The white sun is the fake sun. But I want to point out that why this thing is curved and why we have a mysterious black dot here. That would be a shadowy planet. I uh, know it sounds a little confusing, but trying to explain this <laughs> through a set of photographs is kind of difficult. However, this is pretty compelling evidence that we have a set of lenses setting through this photograph and again i was going to show you again the pictures from tim's channel as these as the sun simulator sets behind the lens array it is there to continue to give us light during the solar eclipses of these planets that's the main purpose and when this whole thing goes dark, they'll still have light for the New World Order. Here we can see in the next shot, again, this is just one picture at a time. I can now zoom in on it because it's not a video. And again, we can see the light refraction from this lens array projecting the whole thing. The problem again with the lens array, it's not big enough. It was only designed to hide them upon a certain point of approach and now the objects are bigger than the lenses they're hiding from the perspective, not physically larger, but, you know, it's got to cover it up from a distance. As it gets closer, the object gets bigger, can't hide it anymore. So, now again, I had shown this time and time again of the lens array that I discovered. At first, I thought they were planets. Then I realized there are lenses in space. That are pulling these things out of focus from your eyes you don't see it this is a time lapse over australia 
and here we can see all these lenses in place and what planets get behind them it hides it so here's your fake sun and here are the lenses being exposed i also take notice of the rotating cubic light that we see right here oscillating as it's as the spinning cube and the fresnel lens that's in front of the spinning cube showing this spinning light so we had seen this time and time again but now so i've shown this many times before but just showing just how easy it is to hide an object by pulling it out of focus with a simple lens so here is the object i'll put the lens in front of it you pull it out of focus and it just disappears by putting out of focus but when the object gets too close to the lens it now starts to see what's behind it what we're seeing is massive planets from the other side of the lens so there you go so next in my video is a simple simulation of why these are in why the sun simulator i believe the main purpose is when the sun gets eclipsed by these planets so this disc in front of my hand which blocks out the sun we want people freaking out and the light that we see on the sides would we what the government's been calling them sun dogs so let's put a flashlight in a heliosynchronous orbit like i have in this video and voila you've got yourself a dark sun halo So in this next demonstration, I show the evidence of a fake sun and the varying sizes of the sun as clouds pass in front of it. So here again, we have the lamp in the ceiling being the real sun, the flashlight being the fake sun and the heliosynchronous orbit. And now here is the simple, easiest proof. I don't know how else to say it, but the sun is so far out and it's so big, the light rays being bent. When clouds pass in front of it, it should never change size. But yet, that's exactly what happens when we take time-lapse videos of suns passing in front of it. So, this piece of paper being like high-altitude chemtrails or clouds, we get a small sun. And when they pass at a lower altitude, we get a big sun. And yet, when we zoom in on it, we get a tiny little sun in the distance. How is that? It's because it's fake. The real sun is still there, but it is behind it. And now, for the first time in the year 2017, we are getting these dark sun halos. How could that ever be normal if it's never happened before? Check this out. Again, here's my classic example. We high altitude chemtrails. Let's just pause there for a second. Now, I want you, the outer diameter never changes size because that's the real light from a big sun. And yet, the middle of the sun keeps giving us light because it's being eclipsed. But notice how it changes in size so easily. Look at that. You see how it's changing sizes? And if that ain't crazy enough, <laughs> look at that. Look, you see how big that sun is? That's, how is that even possible? Unless there's an artificial sun in our orbit. Look at that thing. Again, I want you to notice. Let's stop right there. Notice there again, there's more light here and less light there because the light is, the planet's passing this way in front of the sun. Look at the movement. See it pass in front of it? Never mind this big distraction here. Look at this. This has been happening all over the world. Go to Miss Willie's channel and check this out. Again, this is happening worldwide. This is in Colombia. Hope I pronounced that right. Check that out. Lens arrays, fake sun, being eclipsed with clouds trying to hide the sun simulator. Absolutely crazy. And this is in right above them okay so any and we're all the full spectrum rainbow if that was just that proves the existence of chemtrails too because where's all the rest of the colors from a, that you expect from a rainbow and if they have ice crystals ice crystals and rainbows don't work it has to be water come on people so check this one out again happen again and again lenses eclipses fake sun there's your fake sun. Look at the light on the lenses bending all around this thing. How could you explain that? I wish I would have caught, just held the camera steady right there. And we're going to, we'd watch this planet just eclipse in front of it. 
these huge planets. Take the whole sky. Amazing. Still think I'm crazy about the fake sun? Well, I've got evidence that just keeps piling up higher and higher. This thing can't hide anymore. And by the way, why is the government so interested in making like Germany their own sun? What would be the point of that? Because they know it's going out. So they're preparing when the sun's not going to go dark for seven years. It's going to lose, I believe, two-thirds of its light. So I hope I convinced you. I hope you have a blessed day. Please copy, copy, share, and like this video. See you at the Lord's Supper.